my dark memes. Welcome back to my dark king. And today, yes, we're back to Monster Hunter for more some tips and possibly a monster hunt. So I've completely forgot. There are some tips that I completely forgot to mention. Not to mention that I might have misled some tips. I think. Hopefully not. But I forgot to tell you some of the other tips. For example, also I have to let you know this now that I am not an expert monster hunter. I've actually... Techie speaking, have actually not played any of the Monster Hunter games. Techie speaking, the only reason I know any of these is because I looked on, uh, there are other YouTubers who have came up with these. I've, I think I've already said this on the other video, but I've already, uh, that I learned some of these tips from there, and I'm just spreading these tips around, so that way you guys don't have to suffer the problems of having to fight against monsters, having I mean, not to know, and I'm also, uh, uh figured out some tips of my, for myself, that, you can actually defeat some of the high level monsters in the beginning, for example, the Anjanath and Anjanath, if you do some of the recipes, if you do it right. For example, if you're playing as a gun, but I think these are only available if you have the lance of abilities. For example, if you're playing as a gun lance or a regular lance, you're able to hold your own against the giant, the, the toughest monsters in the game. Possibly even kill them if you're good enough. If you're able to use the weapons enough. But if you're on uh, other weapons, I don't think you're able to last that very long. I don't really know. Test them out if you can, but just to let you, let you know, the gun lance and the regular lance are basically the best if you're planning to kill, uh, planning to challenge the big weapon guy weapons. Especially if you're fighting against a Rathalos. Heck, this guy right here, Demonic, my little minion, my little kitty, basically I can get matched to get his outfit because I defeated the Rathalos a bunch of times. Well, I actually uh, beat the broke his parts a bunch of times but like I said don't go after monsters that you're not suited for heck this agent is able to hold up against a freaking what was it a Rothless and able to make him go to the point where he has to give up and start running for his life I'm not joking but like I said only use these weapons if you're able to don't just all of a sudden go after him and think oh I'm gonna kill him to upgrade your weapons at all times if you, because you'll be getting so many weapons early on that the weapons that you have will be suitable. For example, the iron weapons. I saw I'm running around because I need to get distracted or else I'm just going to freaking get distracted by, or else I'm just going to get bored. But like I said, make sure you upgrade your weapons at all times. Even the weakest weapons can ch be transformed with the biggest and baddest weapons if you have the materials. Okay, now to continue on, like I said, I'm not an expert. Uh, I haven't played the other monsters. I'm just saying this is my first time playing a monster and I and so far I have been excited I've been farming like crazy I'm only a hunter rank 4 because I wanted to farm everything as possible and now to get on with the test It's so I think I've said this before but in, in the lower difficulties basically money and points are no option you can basically just Pay with your with the lowest abilities, but just to let you know once you get in the high levels using money will cost you So I advise you to use points during when you're eating Because at the at points if you go on the field you will actually get your points back immediately Why because if you're doing investigate for example if you're hunting a monster you'll be having to find the pieces of finding all the markings to hunt them with keep pressing the circle button whenever you see if you see and try to search for it if you see a massive evidence massive evidence will get you to 20 to 10 15 30 impossible to 30 at from certain monsters I think you get more I have no idea but yeah you can actually make back all your points in a mission and you can actually use those on the mission that is that way you can save money because during missions you money you can't get money during your missions you have to but points you can get them so I highly advise if you're doing this, if when you get up to the higher levels, I highly advise you to use points because you can save a lot of any and you can make those points back. Also, I have to say in vouchers, I mean, the oven roast, I highly advise you choose any of the meats that you have, but don't use the rare ones unless you have the items available to you. So don't just go crazy, oh, I'm just going to figure it and just hunt them down and just get it. No, the, just let you know, hunting the monsters will be very difficult. If you, unless you're aiming directly on the tail, I, if I highly advise you just use the regular meat because some of them actually, because the regular meat gives you rashes, which you desperately need to fight again to, in order to keep your stamina. You will be able to create higher levels of meat, but I highly advise you to keep killing the regular monsters because they will give you meat constantly. That way you can have, get plenty of rations up and running. Sorry, I forgot to mention that before. And also on the weapons, Alright, let me just run back. I, I keep forgetting that I can use it, but I use it like running. 
because I get this guy. After exact. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, now, as I was saying, for weapons, you I see like for weapons, depending on what your weapon is types, eventually you get to the point where you will. I advise, but everybody's been asking, saying that you will get to the point where you can switch up weapons. I highly advise you get choose one weapon set and then just place. For example. And also keep constantly trying to get the next upgraded weapon. For example, the Jir. For example, if you get to the next weapon, don't keep the last weapon. But always keep changing, trying to get to the rarest weapons. But there's some weapon pieces that you won't be able to get unless you do capture missions, which I will get to you uh, to afterwards. For example, I have the Barath armor, and it's like uh, maxed out. I think I level this up to a higher degree. But like this is like the max. If I can remember, hold on, let me see this. Yeah, I have actually got this all the way to its max level. But and but there's always going to be another item, that, or another armor set that's going to be even more powerful than that. For example, the Jiro is basically a level 14, and that's the max of this one. So basically, if you get to the max of, of one of the ulcers, I highly advise you to try to get to the next weapon set. And try to get the rare ones as well. Because the rare ones are always the ones you want to go for. If you want to, for example, I already got, I'm trying to get an Ashenath plate. But the only way to get that is if I completely shatter the head of the Ashenath. Which is very difficult if you don't have a powerful weapon. And and since I have a lance, uh, what was it? Uh, what was it? A gun lance? It's very difficult because I got to freaking keep shelling his head or even try to chop his head off. And, for example, Rathian and Narathalos, I recently got these ones. Well, not their weapons, but I recently got these ones, and they will literally s are rare. And I might need to go and try to, and I will, and since they're strong, I will need to constantly keep hitting their body parts. But unfortunately, my weapon is like still at the lower grade level. Heck, right now my gun lance is at the max at Ajnath one, and until I get to the point where I can create more, I won't be able to get it. Hey, oh, I thought that was Pookie for a moment. Ah, never mind. But like I said, make sure, but don't go overzealous. Once you get to the max, just because you have the max weapon, the lowest ranked tree, don't just think you're able to fight up against a mouse and hold toe to toe. It, he will literally still, if you're not careful, you will literally still get your ass whooped. Now also, the weapon boxes, like I said, you got, I also discovered that during my playthrough and watching YouTube that, well, during my playthrough and watching YouTube, that you can, that the tent there is not just for accessories, you can actually go in and use the item box so if you want to switch up your armor set just go in the armor set and just go and switch it up you can also do loadouts if you want choose the best loadouts you can also mix and match if you want a tanky character just go mix and match your items all right now let's go to the trade yard and i'm gonna go to the investigations like i said make sure and i'm sorry the last video was so long it's just there was so much information i wanted to do and i will get to the weapon sets well sooner or later don't worry now for investigations, I already said that the investigations give you a load of items. There's also capture investigations, which is basically will profit you more because you will actually get more items out of it. Unfortunately, you will have to decide, but unfortunately you won't get all of them because you will need to carve the enemy, but you actually get more items off the monsters, even the rare ones. But you will need to get the gold, but you will need to do the uh, ones that have the gold or silver ones. The bronze will give you the uh, rat, the lower grades. The silver ones will give you the upgrade, and the gold ones will give you the more uh, rare ones. So if you find a, a gold one, get that one. Get the capture quest. It will take you some time, and it will get you some time. But as soon as you defeat the monster, you will be able to get the monster and restrain him and get those parts. But just to let you know that if you don't have a strong effort to make get the monster to the point of having to capture him, I highly advise you to. Uh, get, get uh, uh, go through the storyline, go and upgrade your weapons. That way, you can get to the point of having to fight off against the monster and possibly kill them or capture them if you want to. You can also capture them outside the in the open world if you want to do that. But just let you know, if you don't have a strong weapon, you will more than likely not be able to do that. Now, what was the other thing? Yeah, but just let you know, some investigations you won't be able to until. Ooh. Hello. Uh, yes, yes. For example, investigations, you won't be able to, unless you've already done the investigations, you won't be able to get the rare stuff. For example, some of the monsters I'm currently, like the Ajanath, Rathos, Rathium, they're high level monsters. And you won't be able to get them unless you 
get your hunter rank up. And unfortunately, hunter rank, you, uh, the hunter rank, you can only do them by completing um, uh, the assigned missions because, of course, you don't want to be overpowered, which I think is pretty a good idea. You don't want to be overpowered to get the masters because it'd be too easy for you. But but once you get to that point, again, the higher hunter rank, they will appear. All right. Also, this is where all the monsters will be if you get capture one. I might show you one day in one of the videos. Now, what else is, did I forget? Like I said, the item, like I said, the item box. Also, I also make sure you uh, put certain items in your thing. For example, there's antidotes, herbal medicines, everything. I highly advise you to constantly. What was it? I highly advise you to put. Choose which ones you want and just constantly keep putting on uh, for example the antidote Basically antidote will make herbal medicine medicine herbal, herbal medicines will continuously give you will give you a little bit of health and also restores your health uh, also restores a uh, key, uh, Cures you from your poisoning which is great because once you check the antidote it you only get heal your uh, your Your raising uh, poisoning. Sorry. I'm just like I said. I'm still excited and I'm trying to get everything in in order to pass on. Basically, herbal, basically, auto crafting is great. If you have the items, press them. If you have the items for the higher grade items, keep put them in auto crafting. And also make sure you have auto crafting for the other items. For example, potion is required to make mega potions. Mega potions is required to I to make what was it the max potions? Wait, uh, required to make the new. Wait, no, that's not. Isn't this it? Oh, sorry. Never mind. I thought there was required. Never mind. All right, but like I said, mega potions. Are great max nutrients will also g give you a uh, base give you the same thing basically gives you max health and gives you more health in the process now the other thing is like I said herbs will make regular potions but honey with mega with potions will give you mega potions make sure you have some in stock just in case that way you don't because these like I said are used to increase your health don't just automatically use them. Oh, I'm just gonna keep using it. No, there's a limit to these in the field. You can only get two. So mega potions are always good. But you can't. There's also the limit of five of these. So also make sure to have five antidotes as well. Like I said, make sure you have auto craft. Choose the ones you want to auto craft and constantly keep auto crafting them. That way you don't have to keep freaking. Oh, I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't know what. I'm just gonna go back to my thing and just freaking. I don't know what to do. And just wait, I don't have this item and just figure it out. That way you don't have to continue using it. I'm for like nutrients, mega nutrients, there's like so many. So I'll craft that, I'll craft this, and I'll craft that. Mega potions, of course, but like I said, if you're running a lot if you already have enough of max nutrients, mega nutrients, make sure you turn that off because like I said, it will actually consume other items. So for example, mega potion, if you have a full stock of them at home. Just don't bother with it unless you want to get it on the field or on the go. Like, uh, but since you already have a st full stock, you can just take them. For example, I have a full stock of 125, so I can instantly just take that away and just focus on getting these guys up and running. I don't have any of these on the field, but I require bitter bugs and mega nutrients. But like I said, it's very good and it's very nice. Ah. But like I said, make sure you constantly go back and check which ones you want. Don't just constantly just, oh, I'm just going to freaking auto craft. No, because certain items will actually be taken away. All right, I think that's about it. All right. Oh, there's also tips about making Zenny, but I'll see that, say that for another video. But like I said, I have to go back over here to tell you that I have the botanist, but I haven't unlocked his ability to do botany thing because I still need to do a mission for him. But once you do, you can actually constantly give him some stuff, but you have to make fertilizer for him in order to make that. And just like you know, each rotation costs one. So basically, even if you fill, I'll show you that in another video because it, I, it'd be better to show you guys. All right, what else I'm missing? Yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna see and actually go hunting out in the open world to fight off against monsters. Also, just to let you know, you can actually capture monsters on the open world. So if you're hunting a monster, or well, you have to do a hunting quest in order to kill the monster. But if you do a hunt, uh, catch a monster in the open world, you'll be able to get all those items without carving them. But you still need to break off the body parts. But make sure that you know the tails, because I see. Because if you don't know the tails, you can actually ki accidentally kill the monster. For example, if you see him drooling, this is what I learned from, from another YouTuber. Like I said, there's like so many YouTubers out there that they have the exact same thing. So I'm not gonna name all of them. So I'm just gonna. This is going from. Uh, Elsa from my experience as well. 
this is also from my experience as well, that if you see them uh, drooling a lot, which I didn't realize that until I saw the YouTuber, or if they're limping, that they'll go to their nest. Once they head for the nest, go after them, go follow them, because eventually they will have to land and you can actually hit them with a stun trap and basically uh, use their knockout bombs. Also, just to let you know, I need to let you know this once, that during my play that I discovered, didn't realize that until I discovered it, but if you have a trap, your uh, Palico have a trap item, he also gets a Vigorous trap, I think is what it's called, oh, no, bug trap, but he will constantly keep putting down traps. If he abuses it too much, like, has a shock trap constantly that the monster will get an immunity to it trust me I've done this so many times with a pukey quill that I didn't know what was happening and I needed to go back to grab another one but once but here's the thing if he but like I said you need to make sure that to switch out your palico with another weapon like a vigorous spray or any other items in the in the field because if it constantly gets the vigor trap the what was it the stun trap it will make the monster immune and it will be that much difficult to knock him out all right just letting you guys know that now, what else am I missing? I think that's about it. If I'm missing anything, I'll probably remember and write it down to make sure it's for the next video. But that's about it. Also, before I continue, there's actually going to be a trader coming in here. But that's... I haven't gotten here, so I'll put him in another video if he ever comes in. Now, what else? And we're just... Also, we're... And I keep saying also. But I have to say this now. That... Yeah, we're going to go on a quest. And we're going to uh, see if we can capture or kill a monster. I think I have a capture quest on here. To show you guys what's going to happen. <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully, I have a quest in the Wild Spire Waste. Let's see. Investigation. Great hunting. No, that's great hunting. Treasure. That's a great Jagana. Hunting. Baroth. Man, there's not that much of the freaking. There's only hunting. Okay, yes, I know the catcher, but I want to go hunt. But I want to go catcher. Okay, well, we'll just go hunting then. Let's see. Let's see. Post a new quest. Let's see. Maybe we'll do. No, that's slain challenges. But like I said. Sorry, like I said, you can still hunt, and we're going to be hunting. Man, I'm so confused because I'm still so excited. Like I said, capture gives you more items, but you won't be able to get the items if you discard them. But you won't get the items if, for carving. But those are less. Hunting, if you just want to hunt, then you can just kill the monster and just break up. Kill the monster and just keep hunting him. And just keep getting the parts. But like I said, capturing is much more better. For example, if you're hunting, but you can also capture the high-level monsters as well. So if you're playing, so if you for like the Agena, which I will go and so I can get his plate, hopefully I get his plate. You can also make him wear down. You can also do it at the high level. You don't have to kill him constantly. You just need to get to the point of capturing them. Make sure you uh, get those capturing items ready. The shot, but you can only carry one of each. So you're going to carry one stun trap and one, uh, and also one set, one set of only one shot trap and a set of eight knockout uh, powders so make sure you constantly have a supply there and my and now that I think about it actually now that I think about it, I better other craft that shit let's see craftable let's see traps what is it me no that's not it that's shock chat I'm gonna auto craft that and I'm auto crafting that there you go I will need a trap tool and a parachute and a treadmill and a thunderbug and a parachute and a sleeper, which I do not, which unfortunately I don't have enough in it. Which, like I said, I don't have enough. But once you have them in your inventory, they will constantly keep making them. Unfortunately, when you're out, when you're out, when you're not in the field, you have to manually do it, which I think is kind of uh, weird, and kind of whack. But like I said, and uh, 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 give or say. But like I said, constantly keep checking your items. Make sure you have the items in them. Let's see. For example, if you had go through your list, though, you can actually create some of them. Pitfall trash item. You can actually create some of them in your inventory. Unfortunately, I don't have the materials to create a bump because I need a sleeper. And the only way to get a sleeper is in the Wild Spy Race. But once you have them, yeah. Actually, I have a lot. I actually have one, but let's see. Oh, I can only make two. Oh, of course. But just to let you know, you you have to keep getting them from this guy. The trap tools you have to keep getting from this guy, unfortunately. But you can also, uh, let's see. Sorry, I forgot the tips on this one too. Man, I keep forgetting. 
For example, let's see. Buy, you can also either choose to pouch or to box. For example, if you want to get trap tools, you can get as many as you want. It doesn't matter. But you can't get them in your... For example, I can get 50 of those. And then, unfortunately, but I will need to craft them. But still, that doesn't mean anything. Because I can seriously be able to uh, destroy enemies. Sorry, able to get as many trap tools as I want from my inventory. For example, let's see a crafting list. Go to here, craftable. See, but I will need a thunderbug. But I can constantly keep doing this. Press triangle, get to the max, and I have that much. But I will need to get a sleeper for the other one. But like I said, you just need two trank bombs, and it's knocked out. Trust me. But now let's go hunt a monster just for fun in the open world. Hopefully, it's a monster that I'm able to kill. Because, like an Ajana, because it's, it's just, because, because it's going to be very hard. Because I want to hunt an Ajana. Hopefully I can. Oh, what am I doing? Uh, and like I said before, I have to tell you this now, because I completely forgot, that you can go over here. You have to keep going here to update your Monster Hunter thing. I learned this a lot from Ashy Experience and from other YouTubers. That you have to constantly keep coming back after you kill a monster or... You, uh, what was it? Or you found some items in the field. You have to keep constantly, keep going back here, update your field guy, and check right here to see what it is. I think the last door, you have to kill them or capture them. I don't know for sure. The Rathalos, I think I can just beat the shit out of them too. But, uh, but if you want to level up this thing to the max, capturing or killing them is the best way. Just beating the shit out of them won't get them up this fast. And also, you have the field monster guide as well. I already showed you guys last, but you once the higher the level, like research three, once you get to the third research, you're able to get their items. But just to let you know, you have to break their body parts immediately. If you if it turns red, you've broken it, the body part. But if it's still a different color, if it's not red, then you haven't broken it. I'm four. I have broken its tail too as well. For example, ring rewards. I get a Judas fin. I get Judas fang and Judas fin. But I have to keep constantly breaking them. Make sure you have a high weapon or if you're able to break and beat the shit out of them as much as possible. Rathium is the same thing as well. And like I said, if it's not colored in, which means it just means that you haven't broken it completely. You have to get to the point where it's broken completely so to get its items. You won't be able to get it if you haven't broken it. For I've already cut off his tail, but I need to constantly keep... Get it, cutting it off to get any of the weapons. But like I said, researching, hunting, and catching is the best way possible. Now let's go hunt an enemy. And before I continue on, Hunter's Notes. Hunter's Notes when the Fire the Field guy will get will instantly get to you. But the map is well will uh not this map. What's the what's the field guy? What's the where's the map on this thing? Oh here it is. World here is the world map. You can also do it from your book or from the map, uh, from the, just going through the door. Like this, oh, this one, monsters are here. Just to let you know, low rank is finished. Just to let you know, oh my gosh, there's a hidden monster here. Oh man, I wonder who it is. It's probably the Geotararis. Just to let you know, using the map, you can see up on the monsters. It will show you which monsters are available in that world, in that area. For example, the Great Jaggers, Rathalos, and Rathium are available here. Which means they are the only ones that appear in that were in that uh, area of the map. Which so basically there's no which is ways there's only three of them that can appear there. Unfortunately there is no Ajanath, Ajanath or Puke Puke in there. But like I said, if you have but you can find them in the investigations in the hunting. Like for example, if you're hunting or catching, you can actually hunt them down. So it doesn't matter if they're there, but you can hunt them in the hunting quest and the capture quest. It doesn't stop you from doing that. Also, the Wild Spire Ace, I have the Rathian Kula Yako, and I think that's the Jewel Tataros on the Diaphant, because I haven't leveled them up yet. So basically, looks like we're going to be hunting a Rathian today. Let's go see. But like I said, I want to at least fight a monster on one of my videos. Like, for, you know, to see how it works, to see how it goes, and to show you my weapon style in here. Alright, so, sell with camp. I will see you back because the loading screen takes a while. Alright, be back. You can access your specialized tools from the item bar. Yes, yeah, and I completely, like an idiot, I completely forgot to eat. Now, I'm going to be paying with points because I'm on the field, right? But I can make that back. And I'm going after a monster. But just also, this is another tip 
from me to you guys. If you're going after a high level monster, make sure that you're make sure you eat a defense up. No matter what it is, if you have a defense up, just choose here, choose which one you want to find. Unfortunately, I only have one defense up. Choose a defense up at all times. Every time you go hunting a high level monster at your low rank level, like an Anjaneth, Rathalos, or Rathium, I, Rathium I think he's easy to defeat in the uh, YS by race. But still, if you do this, you were able to withstand the attacks of the monsters. All right, just like just a tip from me to you guys. All right, so we're gonna eat the defense up, and we're gonna be hunting uh Rathian. Well, Rathian. All right, let's go. Oh, here's a cutscene, but I like the other one better. Supposedly, this is le works less here. Well, <laughs> but like I said, uh, like I said before, supposedly this works less here, and you get less mm -hmm. items, less stats here. But I don't really know. Oh, but I forgot to pet the poogie. Oh, there's also a rumor around. I don't know what Evans is, but there's a rumor around that you can, you have to pet a poogie. That if you pet a poogie, the pig, that you won't get, that you get actually more stuff from the shit. But I don't really know if that's true. If it is true, then all right, then I'm then pet the poogie. But if not, then I guess you can just pet him sometimes. Now, as I was saying, I am going to be cutting out this part of the video because it's actually going to take me a while to find either a Rathian or a Rathalos because they constantly keep flying out because we've already discovered the Jagras, but it's going to constantly, but unfortunately it's going to have me find a Rathalos and a Rathian, but they're flying, so it's going to be hard. Heck, you may be lucky. We may find them out in a while for no reason. All right, I'll be back. I'm, I'm going to stop the video right now and I'll be back after a while. See ya. Hey guys, whoa, we were lucky. Let's fight. Ah, for few sakes. Sorry, this day I better hurry and attack it before he starts flying off. Because, because he will literally fly off if I don't attack. If you don't attack him back, he'll fly off. Now let's get in the battle! Like right now, I'm able to hold my own because I've had Lance. If I was in any other uh, thing, I would probably be able to not be able to hold off. Whoa! Hold up. Hey, get over here for a bit. Come on. There we go. And if you're wondering what was that, why the hit, that was actually a paratoad. I'm actually gonna talk during this to give you some advice. But that was a paratoad because if you hit, if you find paratoad, they will help you immensely because they will emit, uh, what was it? A paralyzing effect on the monsters, making them perfect. For strategizing, if you don't have a paralyzing item, oh, he put a structure. Thank you. Uh, what is it? Palico. Oh, I missed the shot. Oh, like I said, there. Be careful when you uh, attack because more than likely you're gonna get hit by the monster if you're not careful. One wrong move and you're basically gonna get hit. Also, for the Rathian, he has a poison tail, basically like a scorpion. So you gotta be very careful of where he's gonna hit you. Because if he hits you, if you don't have an antidote, you have to wait and use up your... Oh! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa! And here's a wet, and here's a gilly thing. Now. Whoa! Dang it! Now that is a bunch. Now there's certain moments where you think the monster shouldn't have attacked you. That's the moment where the monster should have attacked, been able to attack you. Oh well. I got a chicken antidote. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh huh? Oh, hell, oh, hell, oh, hell! Oh, crap, he's about to fly away. Get back here, bird! Oh, there's also another trick to this, but I'm going to be chasing after that goddamn bird! It's, uh, 
I gotta hurry before he starts flying off. Found you! Ah, damn it! Oh, hell. You gotta be constantly vigilant. Just because, don't be too greedy. I learned this the hard way, that if you're too constantly uh, trying to attack, more likely you might be attacked by the monster way too easily. Trust me, I've been hit attacked so many times and actually missed you. Thought that, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I've actually got hit by the monster so many times. Now get over here. Just to let you know, some of the video, I may be cutting some things out. Come on, get over here. Whoa! Whoa! Now that was a good... Oh, man. I didn't know that was possible. Hey, get over here. I need to talk to you for a bit. Oh, nice. Gotta hurry up. Oh, he's got an immunity. You saw that? Have you ever forgotten about last time? He actually... What? I block that! Uh, there is sometimes where this game kind of cheeses you every freaking time. Okay, now that one was my fault. Oh, hell! Oh, hell, oh, hell, oh, hell! Alright, just let you guys know, that one was my fault, because I got too greedy. Don't be like me, guys. Let's see, hopefully I can eat. Can I eat? Please tell me, can I eat? No, I cannot eat. That's the one thing wrong here, that's the one thing that's going to be very disappointing here, is that if you get hit, you will lose your abilities to, uh, uh, keep... No. Not that way. I hate, sometimes there's some points in the game where, where is the camera? There's like so many things in the game that can make you get lost here. Unfortunately, this is one of those times. I gotta sharpen my weapon. Also, I will be coming back to you in a bit. Hold up. All right, I'm back. Yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. Oh, so for Tim, I'm fighting some of the monsters. For the Ra for the Rathian, I highly advise you try to break his tail off. Always try to aim for the tail. Why? Because that has the poison in it. Basic a scorpion, basic. Chop off the tail, and he won't be able to attack you with any other attacks. Oh, that's the perfect one. Oh shit! Whoa! Ah! Oh, he's we. Oh, he's dazed. Give me a gay bird. Now you know. Ah! Damn bird. He's into the next area. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Come on! Come on, man! Come on! If I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna need to ride mount his ass. Come on, over here! Yeah! Understeel! Try to get behind him as much as possible on some of the monsters. Some of the monsters are vulnerable behind them. For example, if you hit his tail multiple times, hit a monster tail, they will are losing the tail. Yes! Now he won't be able to poison me anymore. Now here's a great trick here. That it will be... Dang it! Stop firing! If 
you can, for a certain monster, you can actually get under them and try to hit them as much as possible. But only if you're able to. For example, for a fire breather, make sure you go under him. That way he won't be able to attack you. Spam time! There we go. Oh, hit. Ah! Damn, I thought I managed to block. I don't understand why the monster's not even nearby, and yet he keeps constantly doing that. There you go. For certain times in the game, like for this one, this is the perfect way. If you're hunting a monster, this is the perfect way to do it. That, seriously, I don't know what's the cooldown on these things at all. But still, it's a pretty good game. And I got greedy again. I don't have that many. Mu I don't have that much. Got to constantly. Woo! That was a close one. Tail. Ah, damn it, he's all the way over there. But this is the perfect way to do this. And uh, no, I think I can read. No. Where did he go? Okay, I'm gonna be back after I. No, I'm gonna be doing this. I'll be back, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back, and we're about to attack the enemy. Yeah! All right, I'll talk about this later in the next video. This is called Mountain, and I'll talk to you about it next video. Surprise at tomorrow. You probably don't. Yeah! God damn it. For the gun lines, you're gonna constantly be reloading. And oh shit. Give 
Give me your head. What the heck is going on here? Damn fish! Get back here, you! I am not done with you! Oh, hell, he's going... Oh, shit. He's probably heading up to the top. No, no. He's still here. He's still here. He's still here. Okay, let's see. Where is he? 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 He's up on the next level. Be back. He's spamming. He's spamming. Dude, I don't know where he's hitting. Dude, when you find this is a very problem for me that the monster keeps spamming his attacks. See, that was a big problem for me because he kept constantly, kept constantly spamming my his attacks. I know the monster is supposed to be difficult, but seriously, when a monster starts spamming his attacks, now that's where I have a serious problem with it. Whoa! And I'm out of freaking potions! Oh, he's weak! He's headed back to his nest! See that limp? See that? That's what happens when a monster starts limping. Once they start limping, they head back straight back to the nests. They actually fly off. Get back here, you bird! The problem is... Oh shit, it's about to, he's about to leave. Oh crap! I am not... No, 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 no! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! I have done nothing to you! Oh god! I need to get out of here! See, this is what happens when you're flying with monster flying monster ants. You actually constantly attacked and hounded by them. Oh god! I don't know where the good hiding place is, and my thing is not fully charged. I don't know where to run to. I gotta hide. I gotta hide. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, now you use it. I gotta hurry up. It said that Rathian is about to leave. If I don't hurry, he's gonna literally leave the locale. I'm not joking. Well, show me where it is. Scout flies is down there. All right, we're back. Oh, dear God. The problem with this is that both, uh, both... Oh, shit. Oh, dear God. Why do you both have to be in the... Oh, dear God. I, I, I don't know where... I do... Oh, my gosh. I'm having lucky... What's that? What's going on? Two. 
No, this is. The, I know. The, not. I know that these two are friends. But once one monster starts being a, starts actually hitting another monster, I think. I think you should be allowed to not. Like I said, when one monster starts being starts hitting another monster, I think they should. Uh, let's just say, not be able to s uh, keep attacking me. Very stressful. Fun still. Okay. Oh hell. The pr like I said, problem is, is that both of them are trying to kill me. I don't care. Oh god. Whoa! And the Rathian is gone! Get back here, you! I am going to end you! Go, go, go! If I, I'm cutting off your tail, you made me miss my chance! If there are those leaves, I don't care. I just want his tail. Get back here, you bird! He's about to leave, isn't he? No, he's no, he's not. No, he's not. I'm killing. I'm going to beat the crap out of him. Oh my god. Giant monster battles! Get over here! I don't care if he's about to free- I don't care if he's going to leave! Go out 
monster because we already had that adventure already. I'm sorry, guys, I wasn't able to kill a monster today with you guys. But that was an epic one. This turned from a monster tip to a monster hunting thing real quick. Whew. I, don't, I might put this up as a, as a second part of the video. Maybe I might put it all. Whew. But I'm sorry, guys, that I wasn't the kill, able to kill a monster. Yes, I don't care if the wrath of those leaves. I don't give a crap. Oh my God, where, where, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry that I was able to, but that was epic. This is gonna be another long video. Um, you know, next time it's just gonna be a monster tips, and I'll just leave the battle on a separate video. This one I'm just gonna put up in the same video. I'm sorry that it took you see guys so long. I thought it'd be quick, but like I said, thanks for joining me today. Sorry that I wasn't here. Hopefully these tips that I did. Helped you out. Also, also, hopefully you can. I, during the talk, I'm sorry that I talked during that. I don't give a shit. Uh, ho hopefully, the advice I did during the battle gave you good advice. If not, then I'm sorry. But I'll probably do it on another video. If you, if you t tell me in the comments if you want me to do it on another video differently than what I'm doing right now. And yeah, that's about it. If I left out anything, let me know in the comments. Or heck, any expert monster hunters, leave your comments in the last video and on this video. To get to give us some advice and everything because I like I said I'm just a noob in this world. I'm not really an expert. Alright, and holy crap, is another one about to come? Alright, I better end this video now. Okay, so like and subscribe to the vlog, comment down below, uh share my videos so my views can get out there. Uh also YouTube's new laws, new rules are gonna be going on, which uh, hopefully I don't get taken down. But oh, oh I better finish this. Like what was the other thing? Oh uh, yeah, subscribe, comment down below, press the little subscribe button whenever the bell is up there. Whatever to get notified of my videos. And yeah, that's about it. And leave your comments down below. And tomorrow's Valentine's Day. And uh, if you saw, if hope I don't know if you saw that up there, but it's gonna be a surprise for tomorrow. Alright, my dark means dismissed. Oh sorry, my monster hunting means dismissed.